ओके हाय अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड हाय एवरीवन आई एम मैडम शकीरा फ्रॉम यूनिट्स मैथमेटिक्स परलिस मैट्रिकुलेशन कॉलेज एंड फॉर दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फर्दर फॉर आवर कोर्स एएम 015 with our new chapter matrices and systems of linear equations okay if you see the word matrices here i'm sure you are relearn from school before and if you already forgot or don't remember it's okay so stay tuned with us right okay class uh, for this chapter 3 matrices we will have four sub topics let's look at the first one uh, 3.1 matrices 3.2 determinant of matrices 3.3 inverse matrices and 3.4 system of linear equation with three variables so this all that you will learn uh, we recall back from what you already learned from school Okay, so let's now look at our learning objective for our chapter 3.1 matrices. At the end of this lesson, you as students should able to, all right, identify the different types of matrices. So we will have a few types of matrices. Okay, perform operations on matrices. You have to know how to add, subtract, and multiply. Okay. Determine the transpose of matrix, okay, and you can apply the properties of transpose. Let's continue to our definition of our matrices. A matrix, what is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers enclosed between brackets. Okay, that's why you will always see matrices in form like this. Okay, that's the pattern. Number two, the general form of a matrix with M rows and N columns is like in the picture. Okay, let's look at in the picture. As you can see here, we have two things. We have row and we have column class. First of all, what is row? You need to understand what is row. Row is like your position is like this. This is row. We call it as row. Okay, or I draw it like this. Okay, that's mean here. How can you look at rows? Either you look at from here, uh, you can see all this green are your row. You calculate how many of them, or you can uh, look at from here. That is our row. Okay, so here we have M rows. On the other hand, we need to know the column. So, what is column? Column is this position. Okay. Uh, column is this, this position. All right. Like you are standing or, okay. If row, yeah, like you are sleeping. Column, like you are standing. Okay, class. So, for column, you will look at from, uh, either like this, uh, all right, or at the bottom. Uh, so, this end is all the total of column that you have for that matrices right so let's continue our next point the order order or dimensions all right order or dimensions of a matrix with m rows and n column is m by n okay so what is the the important point that you need to know here is order okay Order, we also have the other is uh, the other word, which is our dimension. Okay, order dimension or dimension is notated by your row by column. Uh, it's not multiply, eh? it's not multiply, it's by, row by column. For example, you have M row by N, or you have three row and two columns. So that's how you are going to do. Okay, order is very important because it will help you and define your multiplication of matrices or you want to do the operation of matrices. We need to know the order first before we start our operation on matrices that we will learn later. Okay, so class, let's look at another sec second point. Eh? Uh, second last point, we have the individual numbers. 
Alright, that make up a matrix are called as entries or elements, uh, A, I, J. Uh, okay, the terms inside, the terms inside, I mean, uh, this, this one, A11, A12, A13, all this, A33, A32, A31, yes, are called as entries or element. Okay, AIJ, and they are specified by their row and column positions. Okay, row depends. The entries depends on their row and column positions. Uh, so, they, it depends where it's located. All right, uh, that is our order or dimension. And last point, what do we have? The metric for which the entry is in i row and j column is donated denoted by a i j all right uh, okay so i hope you get a roughly idea about matrices you know how important of the order you remember that the order come with the word r by c which is row by column okay please do remember this all right, order. Now let's start to do a simple example about the order of matrix. Okay, let's go to example one. What do we have here? Let A, you have a matrices with the elements 5, 6, 1 over 2, negative 2, 3, negative 7. Okay, A, what is the order of matrix A? Okay, let's do this together, class. The order, okay, you know that the order is row by column. Okay, now let's look at the row. How many rows do you have? I have one, I have two. So it is two. How about column? Column, uh, you stand, stand up, stand up. Okay, so you have three. So the order is two by three. Okay, next one, uh, B. All right, uh, question B. If you have A, equal to this is our elements okay remember just now we learned this is our we are we call that as elements or entries all right uh, inside the matrices identity identify a to one and a one three okay let's look at this a to one means this is your row and one is your column second row and first column okay second row Second row is here. First column is here. Alright. Uh, so the value will be negative 2. Okay. Next one. Let's I use the green pen. Okay. Identify A13. Okay. A13. Okay. This is your row. Is your first row. Column is your third column. So first row. First row is here, third column is here. So where the elements lies, it is 1 over 2 or half. Okay, so that's how you find the elements regarding the order or the position, the entries and sort of that. Okay, let's learn, uh, learn more about the types of matrices. We have a few types of matrices. We will look at the definition of formula if we have an I will give you example okay for that type of matrices. Okay, number one, row matrix. Okay, row matrix is what is it? Row. Okay, as we learned before, row is this. Okay, how your eyes see the matrix. Okay, row is uh, one by n matrix. Uh, okay, or we call it as one row. Okay, uh, you will only have one row there be because before I teach you that uh, our order is row by column. So your row here is one. So it is one row. As you can see here, uh, your matrices. Example we have here. Example A. You have a matrices there also. As you can see here, it is one row and B is one row there. Okay. Next one. What do we have? We have column matrix. Ah, column matrix. So column matrix. Column. As you can see the word column, you can see as standing there. Okay. What do we have there? M by one. 
matrix as one column. Uh, you will for the matrix you will only have one column only. Okay, so uh, as you can see, let's look at our example. So here you can see you only have one column for matrix A and for matrix B you have only one column. So in that position or for that examples, we call it as column matrix. If only it has one column okay one column if it only have one row so we call as row matrix i think you can relate the uh, number type for number one and number two with each other okay next one what do we have we have square matrix ah square matrix mostly when you answer when you are given questions, there will be words of square matrix. So, what is square matrix? And by a matrix which has the same number of row and column. That means your row is equal to your column. Okay, alright. That we call as square matrix. For example, here, example A, you have two row and two column. So, we call it as two by two matrix. Alright. And for matrix B, you have three row and three column. Okay, if you forgot or you can, uh, you are still adapting the information, so you can calculate the, the row and column. Okay, or you can do like this. Okay. All right. Our four types of matrices, we have zero matrix. Okay, zero matrix is very easy. Why? Because you will have any order of matrix, okay, M by N or whatever, the order, which every entry is zero and denote by zero. Uh, so, as you can see, example here, this is a call as zero matrix, where your elements inside are all zero. Okay, all right. Okay, let's look at our number five, diagonal matrix. Okay, what is it? A square matrix with non-diagonal entries are all zero. Okay, non-diagonal entries are all zero is called diagonal matrix. Okay, the diagonal entries of A. Okay, for example here, example A, R, A11, A22, A23, A33 until AMM for this right example okay what do you what do we mean with diagonal matrix is you only have the elements or the value for your diagonal okay uh, you will only have the value for your diagonal and other than that it will be the value zero okay uh, okay as you can see here uh, all this is zero Okay, the other than your diagonal, diagonal entries, diagonal, that means like this. Okay, uh, as you can see, okay, for your matrices there. Okay, as you can see, the other than diagonal, you will not have other values other than zero. Okay, so here we call as diagonal matrix. So very easy, okay, because all this purple, it should be the value zero and up, okay. On the upper hand or lower hand, all right? You will have the element zero, and for your diagonal, you will have any values, okay? That we call as diagonal matrix. Next one, number C, we have identity matrix, all right? It's too dark, let me change. Identity matrix. What is identity matrix? Okay, class, identity is very, very important, so focus on this one. A diagonal matrix, ah, we use the number five, diagonal matrix, in which all its diagonal entries, what is diagonal entries? I said just now, ah, the value uh, at the middle, okay, diagonal, okay, are one, ah, the value are all one, and denoted by capital I. Okay, identity matrix is like this. You will have the diagonal entries or diagonal values or element values all one, okay? And the other values are all zero. And when you write the identity matrix, 
make sure you use as capital I, not this, eh? not this one. Okay, must be capital I, just like this. Okay, uh, I two two, and you it is I three by three. Okay, the order. Okay, so this is our identity matrix. Okay, for the next one is lower triangular matrix. Okay, lower triangular matrix. What is it? It is a square matrix. Okay, square matrix, remember, uh, we learned before, it is M by M, right? It's the same, or N by M, same column with same row. That is our uh, square matrix. Okay, and our AIJ is equal to zero for I less than J. Okay, what is I is your row, column, a J is your column. So that means row, the value of row, okay, or the number of row is less than the number of column. So let's look at example here. So your uh, for lower triangular matrix, the value on upper will be zero and only have values for your lower uh, that we call as lower triangular matrix. Okay, starting from your diagonal until lower, you have value. The other part, you have only zero. And last one is our number eight. Okay, upper triangular matrix. Okay, a square matrix and AIJ equal to zero for row greater than column or I greater than J. Okay, the position there. So, it's just like uh, the opposite for lower triangular matrix before. Okay, on the upper hand, you have values. On the lower hand, you have zero. Okay, zero elements there. Okay, that's all the eight types of matrices. Okay, it is important you to like to understand. Okay, that each types of matrices because when you do the operations, if you understand it better, you can do the operation much more better.